How's it going, lads? Welcome back to a brand new video. Now, last night, EA actually released a once to watch end on ballet for completely free. For cheap, fast, and reliable FIFA 20 Ultimate Team coins, check out u7buy.com and use the code HABER to get yourself 5% off all of your orders. It's a season objective. Uh, you have to complete eight separate categories to actually get this card for free, um, but they are relatively easy, and I'm going to talk you through how I did it really quickly. I did this in roughly like like five or six hours, which sounds like a lot of time, but I think EA made this thinking in their head that you're going to take like four or five days on it. So the fact that I did it so quickly, um, I'm quite happy with it. So as you see, we've got the uh, the remaining ones to complete now. So I'm going to go through and claim every single objective, then talk to you guys about how I did it basically. So, um, and by the way, to get a free card, not only to get a free card like this, but Endombele's normal gold value is around 20,000 coins right now. So you essentially got a 20,000 coin player for free. So it's 100% worth doing it. Not to mention the added value of it being a special card and a dynamic special card being a once to watch tons of added value this card would be at least a hundred thousand coins on the market without a shadow of a doubt not to mention if he gets an upgrade fear and inform he's going to be worth even more and have an even better card than he already does because he's got a good card and he's very good in game um it's fantastic content from ea and it's completely free so i'm a big fan of it now i'm just going through and com uh, completing all of these and i'll talk you through every single one of these uh qu briefly now um so it doesn't show actually in, in order, but we have, for example, we have eight different season objectives. We've got Origin Story, uh, Parisian Talent, All In, Midfield Maestro, Summer Moves, Back Again, Pinpoint Accuracy, and Debut Mark. Uh, so the first one, this is incredibly easy. Score a finesse shot, goal using a player in their debut match on squad battles on minimum professional difficulty. Literally did this in the first five in-game minutes of a game. Really easy, just get into the final third and score a finesse shot with a player you've just bought and put into the squad. Super easy, super simple. You get a kit for that. Next one, score a goal from across in three squad battles matches. This one's a little bit harder, but you've got to remember it's semi-pro difficulty. If you go into semi-pro with the lesser teams you find in squad battles, for example, the you know the four and a half star, four star, 70 rated teams like 50 chemistry, it's incredibly easy to get behind the defense without a single defender in sight. And if you can get two players in behind the defense, as opposed to sweating it, just cross it and let them head it. I, that's how I did it. I did it pretty easily. Um, next up, we have back again. Score 20 goals in any foot game mode this week. Again, incredibly easy. Just do it as you do it with the... Uh, sorry, as you go through the... Um as you go through the objective, you actually just do this by by default anyway. Uh, Summer moves with four squad battles matches using at least one Dutch, one French, and one Belgian player on min world class difficulty. This is by far the hardest one out of all of them. Now, I did win four out of four for this, but... Uh, squad battles is, in my opinion, pretty difficult. This game, I'm just not good at this game at all. I am really struggling with FIFA at the minute. Um, I am struggling to adapt and get better at it. So that objective I found really difficult, and I think most people find difficult because I'm already not very good at squad battles. So, you know, to mix in the fact that I'm not very good at this FIFA... I just found it difficult, even with a god squad. Uh, midfield Maestro, this was really easy. You just have to assist 10 separate goals using a player whose default position is midfield. Left mid, right mid, CDMs, centre mids, cams. They are the five default midfield positions in this game. You can tell because you can go on midfielder category and find each one of those positions in the midfielder category. That is how you tell. If he's got midfield after the name, then that, they're a midfielder. So you can use cams, CDMs, centre mids, left mids and right mids. Make sure you keep that in mind. Um, the all-in. Oh, I've gone out of it. The all-in. Uh, score a goal using Premier League plays and four separate rival wins. You can do this in conjunction with another one, but it is kind of just a bit tedious playing rivals. Um, win four rival matches using at least two French plays. These two you can do in conjunction with each other. And then Origin Story. Score two goals using League and Conformer plays in three separate rival matches. You have to score two goals in the same game in three separate games. So... It was pretty difficult. It was relatively difficult, um, but we've got it completed in about five or six hours, um, and I've only lost a few brain cells, so not too bad. So as you see, we've got ourselves Endon Bele. We'll take it. Uh, we'll go ahead and store him in the club. Welcome to the club. Like I said, good, good value. Thank you very much for having him for free. I'm going to use him in some squads. I know I'll enjoy him because I actually enjoyed his card. Um, in the meantime, I actually completed one squad battles milestone, which gives us a two-player pack. So we get that for free, which is pretty epic. Um, and I completed a division rivals milestone as well, which is 25 rivals. We get a two rare gold players pack for that as well. So I'll go ahead and complete that. And I believe I also completed some seasonal progress. Now, if you guys want to see me do more videos on how to rank up in this easily, for example, um, or you just want to 
uh, see some more videos on how to rank up easily and stuff like that, let me know down below. Uh, leave a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are near around here. And uh, I'm going to go quickly open these packs and then talk you through the squads that I used. Um, so let's see if we can actually get ourselves something decent from the pack. So we've got a few packs here. We've got a rare consumables pack. That's the first one I'm going to open. Um, this actually could have some good stuff in it. It could have a draft token. No, but we've got 4,000 coins. That isn't bad at all. Like Four squad fitnesses, 4,000 coins. That's a good pack. That is a good pack to get. Then we have a... We're going to go with a gold pack first. Then go with a small election players pack. Um... In terms of though, like the, like I said, the ease of this, the, the only difficult thing is that you have to play a lot of FIFA to get this done. Um, unless you are absolutely incredible this year, you don't lose games at all and you just fly through FIFA. You're probably going to have to play multiple games uh, to get this done. So for example, the Rivals one I think took me about... 13 games 14 games to win about five of them because obviously you're using different squads to try and conform with what they're asking you to do so you're not using the squad you're comfortable with um it took me a little bit longer than it probably should have i will say that um but like i said i'm not very good at this fifa so uh so yeah it wasn't it wasn't particularly easy but I think, like I said, if you're if you're at least moderately good at FIFA, it won't take you that long. Um, EA gave us a 10-day uh, timestamp. I think in their heads, they're thinking that they actually want you to take a few days to do it. I think you can crack it out in literally one day. I think you can do it in one day pretty easily. And I'm going to go through the squad, sort of teach you guys how I did it after we open these packs. But that is actually something. That is not a walkout. It's going to be a board, though. Uh, it's going to be Colombian. Go on, be Cam. Uh, it's going to be Falcao. We'll take Falcao. Galatasaray. Um, A3 rated, not too bad, in a one gold players pack. Uh, not too shabby at all. I'm just going to, in fact, I think Adnan Yanezai is selling right now. Is he selling for much? He, uh, he's gone back down in value, actually. I don't really care anymore. Um, he's gone back down in value. So we've got three more packs to open. I just thought we'd open them anyway, because why not have some packs in the video? Um, but like I said, no, it's pretty easy. It, it, it does also complete a bunch of other objectives, as you saw, without me even realizing I completed a squad battles objective. I completed a div rivals objective. Um, completely unintentionally just got through it and, and, and smashed through it and ended up completing those. So did well off of that, and I was happy with that. Um, so all in all, playing the extra FIFA, although I am so tired right now and probably just waffling um it, it was worth it and and like i said great value card and hopefully we get more content like that i'll definitely do more videos like this if we do um so let's open up this last pack it's gonna be a two player pack um it's actually gonna be something as well it's an inform i don't know who's inform that's not a walkout that's good it's gonna be croatian center mid i actually already have this guy in tradable so that's kind of awkward um don't think there's a uh, SBC that requires a team of the week right now or oh no I think Lewandowski wanders so I might deal with that later so this right here this is the team I used and I've got it written down here so my league gun team was used for the two French players uh sorry so the f uh, three div rival wins using at least uh, two French players in your starting squad. Um, obviously, I have more than two French players in this starting 11. I went and bought Ben Yedder for this, who's actually really, really good this year. Um, I also use this for about half of midfield maestro. Um, yeah, you know, I've got two assists here. I've got one assist there, and Alwa did pretty well for me as well. He's got five assists. So I got a lot of midfield maestro done with this squad as well. Um, and I got all of two goals in three games with the league and player. So, for example, scoring two goals in three separate games uh, with league and player. I got that one done. And once I did the objectives that I needed to do, I just sub on Dembele for uh, Ikone. And um, and Dembele would just go off and, and do his own thing as well. So um, that was really easy. And having one squad with one league for that specifically always helps. Um, you don't have to try and pick out certain players if you're using a hybrid. I would go for specific leagues for the specific objectives. It's just going to help you out in the long run, uh, meaning that you're not going to miss out on chances because you're trying to pass it back to another player to get the objective done. Um, you you know straight away that whoever you score within this squad is a league and player. So I find that really easy. Uh, moving on now to the next squad. Uh, I need to remember because EA made it so difficult this year. Um, we have the French Premier League squad. Now this one was used for four wins with Premier League uh, goals in and uh, or four players from the Premier League scoring in, uh, in four separate rounds rival wins sorry one goal from a premier league player in four separate rival wins there you go and the other half of midfield maestro now um default pepe and philippe anderson are right mid and left mid so they count as midfielders so i was playing those as cams same with oxlade chamberlain um and playing rashford at top and it worked out really well um 
So they obviously completed uh, a good portion of midfield maestro. And then obviously uh, we got the uh, the four uh, goals in Premier League wins done with this one as well. So um, let me actually go quickly grab our ones to watch... Um Oh, I wants to watch end on Bele here and just, you know, see if it was worth it. Was it worth it? Yeah, it definitely was. Um, so this was pretty easy as well. Like I said, using uh, one league makes it so much easier. Um, obviously, I've got a few untradeable players here. Like I've got uh, an untradeable Ake, an untradeable um, Tierney. Um, and I went out and bought a few players just to make it a little bit easier as well. And now moving on to the squad battle squad. Now I use my strongest squad for the squad battle squad. I don't even know if I'm going to keep this squad or not. Um, but this is a squad that I use for the squad battle squad. Yes, it's ridiculous. Um, it's incredibly expensive. I've got Leo Messi at right wing, who is a beast in this game. I've got Zola at Cam, who has incredible stats because of squad battles, but... I'm not entirely sure I'm the biggest fan of this guy in game. I'm still deciding whether I like him or not. He's, he felt all right, but only in squad battles. When I went to use him in rivals, he was kind of a little bit clunky against better defenders than AI. Uh, Rashford's great. Martial's great. Both of them are just fantastic players in game. Really enjoy them. Matuidi's great. Saul is not so good, uh, but I was using De Jong before. He was okay. He wasn't too bad. His dribbling especially is great, um, but apart from that, he's kind of a bit meh at center mid slash CDM. Um, but the, d the defense is incredible and the goalie's all right. So this is why we're using for squad battles. With squad battles, I recommend using your strongest side, the one you're mo most comfortable with. Um, I think that you'll always just benefit heavily from using whatever you are most comfortable with. Um, so like I said, squad battles is definitely uh, your weekend league team. And then the rest of them, you can just sort of conform to it. Because in rivals, realistically, if you lose a few games of rivals, you're just going to drop down against worser opponents and then win those games back anyway. So that's what I recommend. And uh, in terms of the video, that is how I completed cheap. And hopefully it helps you guys complete it cheap. Um, we did manage to get end done by the like I said, in a few hours. So I think that's pretty good value. Um, I think I think we did pretty well. And I think it's actually a fantastic, fantastic uh bit of content from EA. I'm a big fan. Um, I like it. And uh, hopefully EA do more of this. I think that uh, it's, it's very good content and uh, it's something that I would love to see done in the future. So thank you all for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you lads later.